Welcome to Streamroll.io, a streaming tool for all your stream dice rolling requirements. Before diving in, let's cover some of the basics. The app has two overlays available, the dice overlay and the rolled list overlay. The main one for app use is the dice overlay, which shows the dice bouncing around as they are rolled. The rolled list is an optional overlay that keeps track of who and what has been rolled. These define what is rolled on screen. These are set up for quick, repeatable use, can be customized and exported. Events are add-ons for your dice presets. These include sending sound notifications, WebSocket connections, etc. You define these and then add them to your dice presets later for increased reusability. This is the core overlay of the app. This will show the dice being rolled and transmit the results to the rolled list overlay. The dice will roll within the boundaries of the browser's source or browser tab, so it won't roll away into the sunset. The roll list overlay is an optional resource for the stream to show the last rolled dice values. You can customize the look of this with the settings on the tools tab and by customizing the rolled presets. The tools tab is where you can access your overlay links along with all other settings and controls to get started. You can customize your dice colors, your list style, and your OBS WebSocket details should you want to enable that. The next tab we're going to do is slightly out of order, but hold tight, this is important. This tab displays your current events. These are for use in the preset tab, allowing you to set up reusable flourishes. You can add a new event, give it a name, and then give it outcomes. The current options at this time of development can trigger a sound effect, and events for OBS to toggle scenes and sources. And once you're done, save this with the button above and you're ready to add them to your dice presets. Finally, the dice tab. To add a dice preset, click the add dice preset button. This will give you a new random roll that you can customize to your requirements. You can test your roll at any time, just hit the roll button and check your overlays for the die. Customization is done by dragging any of the labels in the top right of the screen. As of time of making this video, we have Add Event to Dice Roll, which allows you to trigger events on roll total value. These are set up in the Events tab. In this example, we are adding an event that occurs when the dice value equals a 1. The next customization, Customize Rolled List Item, which allows you to add extra text to the rolled list entry. Here we are adding who has rolled the die and its total to the right side of the list item. A little warning. This list style will only appear when you roll this preset. And finally, export style and events is used for exporting the preset to external software or tools like the Elgato plugin. You'll be presented with a line of text that can be fed into other apps. Want to more easily control the dice rolling? We have an Elgato Stream Deck plugin, allowing you to roll set values at your fingertips. Start by adding a new action, getting your UUID from the Tools tab, adding that in, and then setting your notation and away you go. You can import your style and events here as well. Once you have your exporter settings, simply copy it into this field and hit import. If successful, it will now show your imported settings. It should match what you exported. If it doesn't, try exporting them again and ensure you're not copying anything else in between. Other actions as part of this plugin allow you to clear the rolled list. One clears the full list, the other clears the top entry. We're also looking at adding these controls to other platforms and hardware as well. Conclusions Thank you for watching. This has been a guide into Streamroll.io. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments, the Discord, or in my live stream. All the details are below. Make sure to subscribe to keep informed of updates and new product launches. Kiss.